Heads up investors! Today, we're diving into the latest market movements and what they mean for your portfolio. Here's what you need to know about today's market movements. The stock market experienced a slight decline, but there's more to the story. The all-share index slipped by 0.35% on November 6, 2024. This drop, while not massive, is significant enough to warrant attention. We're down to 96,567.24 points from 96,907.73 in the previous session. This decline reflects a broader trend of cautious trading. Market capitalization mirrored this drop, shedding 206 billion Naira to settle at 58.515 trillion Naira. This reduction in market cap indicates a pullback in investor confidence. So, what's behind this? Profit-taking in 21 stocks as investors cashed in on recent gains. This is a common strategy where investors sell off stocks to lock in profits. Now let's spotlight the top performers. Despite the overall decline, some stocks managed to shine. Unicell soared by 9.87% comma closing at 7.46 Naira from 6.79 Naira. This impressive gain highlights the stock's strong performance amidst a volatile market. Regency Alliance, Veritas Capital, and Dar Communication also posted strong gains, climbing by 9.30%,9.17%, and 8.93% respectively. These stocks have shown resilience and investor confidence. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. The market had its share of losers as well. UBA took a hard hit, plunging by 9.99% to 31.55 Naira from 35.05 Naira. This significant drop reflects investor concerns over the bank's performance. Oando and Thomas Wyatt weren't far behind, dropping by 9.98% and 9.79%. These declines indicate broader market challenges affecting multiple sectors. On the volume front, Sterling Bank led the charge with 79 million units traded, valued at 402 million Naira across 126 deals. This high trading volume suggests strong investor interest. UBA followed with 79 million units traded, totaling 2.57 billion Naira over more than 1,300 deals. Despite its price drop, UBA remains a heavily traded stock. Access Corp rounded out the top with 44 million units, worth 1 billion Naira across 767 deals. This shows that Access Corp continues to attract significant investor attention. So, what's the takeaway? The market breadth closed negative, signaling cautious sentiment. This means more stocks declined than advanced, indicating a bearish outlook. But remember, even in a downturn, there are always opportunities for savvy investors. It's crucial to stay informed and look for undervalued stocks that have strong potential for growth. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this update helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more insights on the Nigerian stock market. Stay informed, stay invested, and see you next time.